Hey, what's going on? <clears throat> All you ghouls and ghosts out there. My name is Mike Macabra, and welcome to the graveyard. As always, like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, hit that notification bell to miss any more of my reaction videos, Friday Night Frights, mouthing off with Mike Macabra, or whatever else I'm doing on this channel. But on tonight's episode, we have another reviews and reactions. And I do believe we've reacted to this group, the pop group. I'm not 100%, but it does sound very familiar. Uh, we're going to be reacting to their song, Snow Girl, from 1979. As always, link to the original video will be down in the description box for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. And this request comes to us by Zeno Dude. Thank you again for that lovely, lovely request. As I was going into this blind with my off-the-cuff comments, if I recognize a song, I'll definitely let everybody know. I'm going to be as transparent as possible. But no more ghouling around. Let's check it out. All right, ghouls and ghosts. The pop group, Snow Girl. Very croaky bass. Kind of funky. Deadpan vocals. I don't even know what to make of that. Weesh. <laughs> that was all over the place. Uh, I didn't pick up much of the lyrics. I want to check out the lyrics to see if they're as weird and goofy as <laughs> the music. Uh, but uh, see in the review section. All right, ghouls and 
Ghosts. That was the pop group with their song, Snow Girl. As always, link to my original video will be down in the description box for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. And this request comes to us again by Zeno Dude. Thank you again for that lovely, lovely request. Now, just got done looking at the lyrics, and uh, I wouldn't say they're as off the wall as the the um, the music, but I couldn't really interpret them. So, uh, I mean, I can go through them. Let's, you know, let's do that. Set fire to yourself on a train. Don't approach your life with a sword. Burning breast, your heart's in flame, but your eyelids shoot you from the law. I won't stamp on your coal eyes. That poison tongue tasted stone, built out of tears so you cannot lie. The voice in the wind tells you you're not alone. Snow girl, I burn you. Snow girl, I melt you. Your hair is on fire. When I touch you, you melt. Snow girl, snow girl, snow girl, I burn you. I melt you. I burn you. I melt you. I burn you. Strong in the shadows, but you cannot leave your room. Knife inside you. Sharpens its blade. Tick, tick. Hammer and nail. 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 Snow girl, I burn you. Snow girl, I melt you. I melt you and kind of repeats there. Um, the easiest part for me to interpret was the tick, tick. Hammer and nail. Uh, the person, narrator, finally killed the snow girl. Uh, she's being put into a coffin. Hammer, nail, tick, 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 tick. That's what I, I interpret anyways. Uh, I prefer the the second verse. I won't stomp in your coal eyes. The poison tongue that tasted or tasted stone, built out of tears, so you cannot lie. The voice of your wind tells you you're not alone. Again, I'm not really sure what they're trying to say, what the narrator's trying to say, but the imagery is dripping wet, and I love very descriptive, even though, albeit very, uh, what's the opposite of concrete? Abstract. Very abstract lyrics. The poison tongue tasted stone. I, I when I think stone, I, don't, I just kind of get the feeling of Bitterness, hard to swallow. If you try crunching on it, it breaks your teeth. So, it, I, I would love to hear anybody else's lyrical analysis in the comment section below the six feet under. I would greatly appreciate that. Uh, but this was just off the wall, noisy. Uh, I love the croaky parts of the bass. Uh, the piano with the da, 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 uh, reminded me very much of old school Pink Floyd think like Adam Hart and Mother or Piper at the Gates of Dawn very early early Pink Floyd when they were more um, psychedelic rock more than prog rock space rock if you will as well Some parts felt jazzy, like jazz fusion, kind of had a funky tone, and then it was just all over the place, and uh, I can imagine not a lot of people liking this kind of music. Uh, I do enjoy it for what it's worth. Uh, I would say a little too abstract for my, my personal taste, but, you know, take that as you will. Uh, vocals were, were kind of simple, but very effective in in the creep factor, I would say. Uh, which, again, fit with the overall experimental nature of this particular track. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I have reacted to the pop group. I, I recognize that aloof, weird, off-the-wallness that they have. I can't remember the exact song, but... Um, Again, I feel like there's a score that it deserves and a score that I think it deserves. So let's start with 
what I think it deserves. I, I, I don't mind this kind of off the wall. It's kind of hard to get into, but I, I do enjoy it because there are certain parts of the song that did remind me of, like, say, Pink Floyd, and I'm used to that sort of spacey, trippy acidness, so I like that sort of stuff. And I would give this 3.5 skulls out of 5. But I, I, because I think it's just so off the wall, and it's a very obtuse kind of, of a song, aloof in a way, uh, that a lot of people wouldn't get it. So taking that into account, I think it probably is closer to three skulls out of five. For all the reasons I just stated. But I think that's going to be it for this episode of Reviews and Reactions. As always, if you like what you saw, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, hit that notification bell if you don't miss any more of my reaction videos, Friday Night Frights, mouthing off with Mike Macabra, or whatever else I'm doing on this channel. But as always, ghouls and ghosts, stay scared. Ah! Ah!